They're off in the FanDuel Limestone Stakes. Twirled, Love Reigns, Accomplished Girl, Sassy Nature, all with early speed. Accomplished Girl, Sassy Nature, they come to the front to contest the lead. Twirled will go third. Stone Silent comes out of a crowd of horses, moves up into fourth. Lady Hollywood is a wide fifth. Love Reigns is shuffled back down toward the inside in sixth. Just to care alongside her is in seventh. American Apple is in eighth. My Sweet Affair ninth. Camp Aquila tenth. A long way back. Another dozen to 15 lengths to Alluring Angel, who had an awkward start opening quarter. 21.49 seconds. Accomplished Girl, the leader. And she leads it a length and a half around the turn. Twirled at the top of the stretch. His second by three. Stone Silent third. Sassy Nature in fourth. Lady Hollywood is fifth. Just to Care is sixth. Love Reigns is still in the seventh position. Accomplished Girl, the leader. Sassy Nature up the inside. Lady Hollywood from the outside. Lady Hollywood is running on. Love Reigns goes to fourth toward the rail. Lady Hollywood alongside of Accomplished Girl. Lady Hollywood and Accomplished Girl. Lady Hollywood has the lead. My Sweet Affair is running late. Love Reigns is running late as well. Love Reigns up the inside to win the FanDuel Limestone for Joel Rosario. One minute, 2.45 seconds. And the winner's circle, official winner of Keeneland's seventh race, fourth running of the FanDuel Limestone Stakes. Number three, Love Reigns, owned by Stone Street Stables LLC of Barbara Banke, trained by Wesley Ward, the jockey Joel Rosario. Love Reigns, a three-year-old filly by U.S. Navy flag, out of Humble and Proud by Pivotal, bred in Ireland by Patrick Grogan. Five and a half furlongs over the firm turf, one minute, 2.45 seconds. In the winner's circle, Mr. Scott Hazelton, representing FanDuel, presents the trophy for the FanDuel Limestone to the connections of Love Reigns. A dramatic victory by Love Reigns in the FanDuel Limestone Stakes here at Keeneland. Wesley Ward, Joel Rosario, she got stopped. You had to gather her up. How quickly did she... Did she figure that out and gather herself up to, to kick on the way that she did? Yeah, she did. That was very impressive. She really put them together. At some point, you know, I was just by following a couple of horses. She really came up with a nice mood. And then man, she, she you know, put herself together back and then got back. In, and that, that was unbelievable. Well done, Joel. Thank you. Wesley, what type of an athlete does it take to do what she just accomplished and pulled off with that trouble late in stretch? Uh, you know, she's, she's a special filly. i um, kind of been waiting for this to come out. Since her maiden maiden win here, uh, she she liked Keeneland. She loved the course when she broke her maiden here a year ago, and and we're just real real happy it came out. Our plan was uh, with Joel. He's kind of my come from behind guy that I ride on the horses that I like to do that with, which aren't many, but this being one, um, and he's just a phenomenal rider. He gets him back there, gets him to relax, and he had us he had us a little worried there at the eighth pole, but thank God the the seas parted and he came through and he won. How much better is she now at the age of three? Not today, I'll tell you, that was great. You know, any three-year-old filly and a tough sprint, you know, this is the toughest three-year-old fillies on the grass sprinting in the in United States right now. So for her to do that and still overcome all that trouble and still win, she's she's a good filly. Back to Royal Ascot, King Stan, is that on the radar? We hope so. You know, Barbara did it before with Lady Aurelia, so a three-year-old filly. So hopefully this filly, you know, I, she's got big shoes to fill, but you know, hopefully we can do it. We'd love to see it. Well done, Wesley. Thank you. Love reigns reigning today in the FanDuel Limestone Stakes.